Hey everyone, so today we have here the HP Omen. This is the 15DC0051NR. And this actually has 8th generation i7. It's pretty nice. And also has a GeForce GTX 1060. And I'm just going to talk a little bit today about it because the customer came in. What he's noticing is he's getting a little bit of hitches and a little bit of lag when he does play. He says it only lasts for about a second. Um, sometimes when you do get a little bit of lag or glitch or anything, it's not usually because of the internet. It also can be because we push it to limit and it could be thermal throttling. So, especially in laptops, you can see there's always a thin chassis and you wonder why the desktops actually have big chassis. So that's because there's cooling in there. This one actually does a pretty good job of cooling. You can see here, here's the two vents over there, but it's nothing compared to a full size desktop tower. And you can also see those big graphics cards, they have big heat sinks on them. And you're trying to cram all that into a laptop this size and try to have the same type of performance. It's going to be much more difficult. So what we're actually going to be doing today is you can see there's a little bit of dust right there. So I'm going to, I just assume, I just, so I just let the customer know um, we can put some extra thermal paste on there and we can clean out the fans. When the chip contacts the metal of the heat sink, there is a little bit of barrier there. You don't want the chip completely touching the heat sink just by metal and by the chip. You want um, this little base, it's called a thermal paste. That does is it disperses heat more, making thermals a lot better. So I'm just going to open this up. I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. There's a bunch of them. You can see how dirty the fans are here. So we're going to be cleaning that. come up right there you can see it's a little bit dusty there so we definitely just want to blow that off and clean it off also brush it off too after you blow it you can brush it off a little bit It'll be a lot cleaner just like that it looks totally clean now it looks really good see the fans are really dusty now I just want to remove the heat sink let me take this off a little bit and what I'm really aiming for is these two, because you can see there's it's the graphics chip and it's the processor. I just want to remove the heat sink so I can get underneath and put the thermal paste on there for it. And you're going to feel it's going to be pretty tight. I like to remove it in diagonal direction just to ease the pressure off, and even when I, especially when I screw it back in. Looks like you also want to remove the top pieces here because there looks like there's screws attached to it. This actually you have to pull this up, and then this will come off here. You can take off this piece. Now you have more screws exposed. You should do the same thing over here too. Just expose everything. This is actually a little bit more difficult of a heat sink to do than most other ones. Most other ones might be be covered by like a few screws and then maybe you have to just undo the fans. But this one looks like you have a few plastic pieces. Of course, be careful of this side because we have a DC jack here. So we want to completely tear this out. Looks like this goes underneath, which is a very strange way. There we go. This fan's actually underneath this M.2, so you want to remove this, which is very dangerous. I don't like this at all. This is actually a pretty strange feeling to remove that. So I don't like this. You like that? So that comes up. Okay. Just undo the fans. All right. Once you got all the connections up, then it should be good. Just lift up. Be very careful because there are going to be more connections. You can see these are thermal pads that go around there. You can usually leave them alone. Let's see this one folded. 
So you can leave those thermal pads alone. You just really want to focus on the thermal paste here and there, which is the, the CPU and GPU right here. So we want to clean that off. It doesn't look too bad. This one looks like it really needs it more, but kind of see it. You don't want to see those little holes. You can kind of see on this one how there's a little bit of holes in between there. And you want that, at least the thermal compound, to be covered. You don't want any holes because the metal is going to be touching the chip, and we don't want that. So we can, we're just going to scrub. We're just going to clean this, and we're going to put some new thermal paste on. And we're going to be cleaning the fans here. And the fans are important. You can just blow through the fans if you have a little duster, like a blow duster or something. That will be fine. And just always remove the thermal paste here, too, as well, on the heat sink. Okay. And also, uh, another thing, you can always get dust in here. We want to make sure we clean those as well. All right. So you want to get as clean as you can. So it looks pretty good. Uh, if you see a little bit more, you can always put a little bit of alcohol if it's a little bit too much. But this isn't too bad, so I'm not too worried about it. So it looks good. So we're going to put this away. And we want to focus on here because this is the more important spot. So now you can just kind of clean this off. So you just be really gentle. Just just go in little circles. Try to get in between the little crevice there if you can, as best you can. If you knock off any of the little components around it, <laughs> then you're going to have a big trouble. But you want to put enough just I would just put a little bit and then just maybe go in like a diagonal there. It's not too bad. And then we want to go here. It's a little bit it's a lot. It's a little goopy there. But what it's gonna do is you wanna put a whole lot because when you push down all this pressure that's gonna push down, it's gonna flatten all this thermal paste and the thermal paste is gonna be pushed anyway because there's so much pressure then it's gonna flatten out and be totally good anyway. How the, how much dust just comes off there? Just off this little fans. We want to make sure we clean that. We want as much airflow as possible because that's all this is about. Okay. So since we did all that, this looks good. Now we can put on the heat sink. It is a weird heat, heat sink, but it hopefully does the job. Um, so we want to make sure this flattens completely. So let's put on the screws for it. Because I want this secure is the most important thing. And you just go until you, you feel it tighten. Once it tightens, it should be very straightforward. You shouldn't have to do anything more difficult. So once I feel it stops, it's I'm done. Because you don't want to strip that. If you strip that, if you ever take that off, you're going to have a lot of trouble. And it's not going to be a good time. So now what I like to do, I like to just, just go around, just, just do a little bit of a tighten there on each side. Just make sure it's totally tightened up. Because you want it as flat as it can. If it's not touching a little bit, you're going to notice you'll, you'll probably get a blue screen or you'll have your computer shut off a lot because it's, it's getting too hot, especially for playing games. So before I forget, let's connect the fans. That's another thing too, do that. Okay, now I'm going to put the M.2 back. This is a little bit of a weird design, so putting the M.2 back is it's pretty essential. It's kind of strange, actually. All right, and now it looks pretty good. So remember this, this part, we have to put this. This goes through here, and it bends over. You can see how weird it, the DC jack bends. A weird little curve. All right, that fitted in. That gave me a little bit of trouble there. Not gonna lie. All right, let's put that in, and we can put this on top now. All right, once you put it all back, we should be good to go. Make sure everything is plugged in from before. Make sure all the fans are good. Make sure the DC jack's plugged in. And then, so the two fans and the DC jack were the main things. Make sure it goes underneath here. Looks pretty smooth. You can see the fans look really clean now. And he should be having great performance from what he had before. 
there was a lot of dust in the fans and that will actually do that to it so so yeah i hope he's pretty happy with it i hope he does have a little bit of performance as for his son he actually uses this as a vr rig using vr on a 1060 isn't very optimal especially for a laptop even for a desktop it, it does struggle very very much with it i think he plays beat saber so he might be a kind of okay so if you guys know what that is it's kind of like um you use the little you use the little hand controllers you use the two controllers and you just kind of go with the song you just kind of beep 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 you know just go with the beat of the song so it should be a pretty cool game to use for this i'm maybe for this is actually pretty good but he does complain that he does get a little bit of lag and hitches every now and then so i did mention just to pretty much buy a desktop it's the best way to go especially these laptops aren't exactly meant for long long periods of use compared to desktops even desktops don't do a great job over very long periods of usage with games they do get really hot um, i did let him know i mean the best is the best we could do is just kind of do what we did here it's going to help his thermals a lot so he should have less hitches he should have more performance so what it's going to do is it's going to get so hot to a point where it's going to need a throttle down and once it throttles down you're going to lose some performance so that's why people liquid cool you hear about the word liquid cooling you do all these other things um, with desktops because what they're trying to do is they're trying to make sure that the the processor and the gpu are as cool as they possibly can be and if there's as cool as it possibly can be they can overclock a little bit better they can run a lot more optimal and they can even have a longer lifespan over time this one actually does look like it has a pretty decent heat sink as you guys saw always stay up to date on your drivers too that's something that you really want to do not only the gaming laptops but any type of laptop it is good to always put thermal paste maybe clean the fans every now and then it does expand the life of your whole computer if you keep those cool you'll have a much much better chance of having a longer life for your laptop especially ones with gpus in it it gets really hot in there and if you've ever had any type of laptop you probably noticed why is it so hot it shouldn't be so hot there could be things blocking the fan there could just be dust there could be no thermal paste or it could be so old and crusty that it's gross so you always want to make sure you do replace that every now and then or go go to a service shop that does replace that um we we like to do it we always like to recommend that so especially if you're playing games or anything you want to do it more often because you definitely want to make sure you keep it clean and cool so um if you're playing games too always update your drivers as far as you can always check for the ventilations you can see there's ventilation on the bottom and on the side here and if you ever notice, if you are on your bed, it gets really hot. That's because all the vents are being clogged up and there's nowhere for the hot air to go. So it's going to ruin the system too. So always make sure you play maybe on the desk if you're playing games, especially. That's why there's these little rubber stuff. That's why there's these little rubbers here. So it raises it up and it will make everything light it better. Anyways, guys, hope you found this video very helpful. Please leave a like down below. It really does help us a lot. Please subscribe for more content. Make sure to do the best you can to keep it clean. And anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.